Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like my tutorials are getting weirder by the day. Anyways, I created this poison apple look on Instagram and a bunch of you wanted to see how I did it. That was the image that inspired me. I was also obviously inspired by Snow White. I had a bunch of people requesting me to do this look and I thought it would be fun. So I'm just gonna take you guys along and show you how I turned my head into a poison apple. Anyways, I didn't get this first part on camera, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened there, but I basically just mapped out the different sections for this look with a nude eyeliner. I like to use a nude or a white pencil when I'm mapping things out for looks because it's super easy to remove and fix your mistakes, which I make a lot of mistakes when I'm mapping things out. So I like something that's easy to remove. And then I am just filling in the section that's supposed to be the poison with a color cream from Makeup Forever. I believe it's in the shade Pistachio. I will have everything linked down below that I use for this look. So for this look, there's a couple different sections. There's obviously the red apple underneath, and then you have the poison that's supposed to be kind of dripping over, over top of the apple. And it has some skull-like features, so some skull eyes and then a nose because it's supposed to look kind of, you know, evil. It's, it's a poison apple. You know, anyways, so once you have the green all filled in, you can start on the red. I'm using the same product, the Makeup Forever Color Cream, just in the red shade, and this was like the perfect apple bright red. So I am just using a flat brush when I'm going around, when I'm outlining the green part to make sure I get a nice and crisp line, and then I'm going in with a bigger brush for the larger sections. And obviously be really careful when you're going around your lips and your mouth, that is a harder part to paint but just make sure the upper lip matches with the bottom lip and it'll look fine so just really take your time in that area and then I'm just going in and filling the rest in with red so the little nose and then the eyes if I was doing this look over again I probably would make the skull eyes a little bit smaller I felt like I went a little bit overboard with the size of the eyes but you know whatever nothing's perfect and I've been getting a lot of questions on Instagram on how I paint the back of my head and the answer is I don't paint the back of my head. I wish I had that kind of skill. That would be pretty crazy. But I was thinking of doing like a challenge video where I try to paint the back of my head and see how it turns out. Let me know if you guys would like to see that. Anyways, for the next part here, I'm just taking some green water activated paint. It's a chroma cake from MAC Cosmetics in the shade Landscape Green. And I'm going to be shading my head with that color just to add more depth and dimension. And then for highlighting the face, I'm taking this green shade from the Rude Cosmetics Angelic Glow Palette. And I am just highlighting the forehead, basically. I also tried to highlight underneath the eye, but ignore that. I ended up covering it up because it looked weird. So I basically just focused the highlighter on the forehead to give some nice shine going on. Then the next parts are basically just going to be all about shading and highlighting with this look. So taking that same green paint, I am just outlining basically the eyes and the nose and the drip parts because we want to add more dimension, definition, and we want this look to really look kind of cartoony, so we want all the features to really pop and to really stand out. So I just took the green around the eyes, and then on the red area to add some shading to look like there's a shadow there, I just took a dark red shadow and I'm placing that on the top and bottom to give some, again, just add some depth. And then basically wherever we did shading I'm going to be doing highlight right next to it. So I'm taking some white water activated paint and I'm placing that right beside the where we place the green and this is really just going to help to make it pop out even more. So there is a lot of steps to this look obviously. This look took me about two and a half hours approximately in total but I feel like every step is important and it really helps bring everything together but there's a couple times where I got really frustrated with this look and I had to take a couple breaks. So just take your time with it. <laughs> and I also added some white highlights on the inside of the eyes to make it look like the apple is shiny. And for the eyes themselves, I just took some more dark red shadow and I shaded the outer corner of my eye along with underneath it just to add some definition. I popped a pink shimmery shade on the lid to make it stand out a little bit more. And then I'm running some more of that red paint on a spoolie through my brows because obviously the poison apple doesn't have eyebrows so we kind of want to make them look invisible. And then for the final step in terms of shading the eyes, I am taking a black felt tip liner and I just outlined the red areas to add more depth and definition. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that for that sentence throughout this look, 
but that is a very important part of this look. And then I am doing the exact same thing with the nose. I just outlined it in black and then I took a little bit of black eyeshadow to make it look like there's a shadow coming down there. And when I'm doing these body painting looks, I really like to start off using cream paints for the entire base. Then I like to go in with eyeshadows and water activated paint for the more detailed work. I feel like that's just what works best for me personally. And then I just highlighted the tip of the nose with some white paint. And then again, around where we did the shading, we're gonna highlight. So I'm just taking some more white paint on a very small precise brush and I am just adding in some white highlights around the nose. Also, let me know what your favorite Disney movie is down below and if, if I should do any more Disney inspired looks because this look was super fun to do. So I'd really like to do some others. So let me know if you guys have any suggestions. And for the final step around the eyes, the white that I placed down before didn't pop quite enough. So I'm taking some white acrylic paint from MAC Cosmetics. I'm just taking that on a very fine brush. And just as a final step around the eyes, I am adding a very thin white highlight around that to make it even to make it pop even more because the white acrylic paint is super stark white and it really pops. I also wanted to add some drips on the green section too to make it look like it is like it's obviously dripping. That's why we would do drips. Now if you look at any photo of the poison apple you see that it kind of has some gaps where the green is so and the, the apple is showing through. I forgot to add those in before so I just quickly went in and added the red over top of the green. Now, shading all the drips. This is where I got kind of fed up with it, but just take your time. So I'm basically just outlining all of the drips coming down from the face with the same green paint we used before. Just going very, very slowly to make sure the line is nice and crisp using a small flat brush. Just really take your time with this part. But this is where I had to take a break because <laughs> it took me longer than expected. Anyways, once you're done doing the green, just to add more depth and more shadow at the top of those drips, you are going to want to add more of the dark red shadow and that's going to obviously make it look shaded. <laughs> and then also at the top against the dark green, you can also add a white highlight there as well. That's just really gonna help to pull this look together. And then as a final step for shading and highlighting the drippy parts, I'm gonna be taking the, again, the white acrylic paint and I'm just gonna take that on a very fine brush and we're just gonna add all the highlights on the drips and this is just gonna give it that really shiny kind of glossy look to it and just make sure you are doing the highlights on the same side of each of the drips because that's what's gonna to help to make it look more realistic. And also, if your ears are showing, don't forget to paint your ears. That's probably my least favorite part of body painting. I hate the feeling of paint in my ears, but it would look so weird if I just left them nude. So obviously I have to paint them. Anyways, just adding some more highlights onto the face here. I'm just adding some white highlights on the forehead to make the poison part look like it's glossy. And then I'm also shading around my jawline to add more definition on the apple part with more dark red shadow. And once I'm done with that, I'm just adding a couple highlights on the apple part because obviously apples are shiny. We want, we want to create that shiny effect. And then don't forget to shade and highlight the drips on the green part as well. Just taking more of that green paint going underneath that to create kind of a shadow appearance and then taking more white paint and slapping on a little bit of a highlight to make them look more three-dimensional. I also didn't show it, but I did add black liquid liner and mascara and lashes, but I feel like this video is gonna be too long, so I didn't bother getting that part on camera. So this is the completed look. I also added a little stem and a leaf on top of my head to complete the whole apple look. And I popped in a pair of red contacts to make it look a little bit more creepy. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I created this look. Let me know what you would like to see next time down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.